Hey guys. Hi everyone. Today we're reviewing Holy Bagels. Oh. A bagel chain here in New Zealand. We've just been to the one in Thorndon. Yep. By the New the World. New world yeah. We've each got a bagel to try out. Yeah, let's see what we got. Alright, well, it comes in this nice brown paper bag. And when I reach inside, here is a nicely wrapped bagel. I've got the veggie bagel <laughs> uh, on the everything bun, which is just all the seeds and uh, grains, I suppose. And the veggie bagel has got lettuce, tomato, red onion, spinach, sprouts, and your choice of cream cheese. And I chose the sun-dried tomato cream cheese. And for myself, I ended up getting the pilgrim bagel. So in this bagel, um, it includes streaky bacon, turkey, cheese, tomato, mayonnaise, and salsa relish. And I decided to go for sesame seed bagel bun. And Amy in the back, Hi. who's our special guest. I got a salmon on a everything bagel, and I got pesto cream cheese. Classic. Ooh, ours are like opposites. Yeah, I'm messy, he's a veggie. Alright, cheers. There's a lot going on in my one, especially with the everything uh, bun there. And there's a, it's just a, lo it's just a lot of plant life, really. Mm. But the cream cheese is a lovely kind of base to have that on. You can't be too healthy. You gotta uh, have a bit of fats in there. Well, I'm gonna say my one is very saucy. I've got salsa oozing out of this one. However, great bit of bacon, juicy turkey, tomato. Very lovely. I did wish that I did get one with cream cheese to be honest. I feel like that is kind of the classic way to go with the bagel. What's the salmon one like? The salmon one's really good. Um, a really generous amount of cream cheese. Really appreciate that. I like the pesto in it, it's different. And nice salmon. Mm -hmm. um, and I really like the bagel. I don't usually get a very seedy one, but I was intrigued and I really like it. So I got sun dried tomato cream cheese on my one. And it's not. The sun-dried tomato aspect of it is not very pronounced. You can tell that it's sun-dried tomato because it's got little flecks of tomato flesh in it. I just had a bite of um, Amy's here. The salmon cream cheese with capers and onions. That's really nice. Really nice. Wish I got that one to be honest. That one's a little bit bland, I think. Mm. It's juicy, but it's not got a lot of flavour. Yeah, I agree. Just seems like all meat. So, when I'm thinking about giving this a rating, you got to think, it's, when you're giving it a rating, you're giving it the vegetables a rating, and if you like the vegetables, you'll like the thing, right? So it's more kind of focused on how the presentation is, and how it's working with the bread that they've made and the cream cheese that they've made. And I think they've done a good job. It's a good hearty sandwich with a hole in it, so... <laughs> it's just fun, isn't it? And the so name, fun. Holy Bagels, that's just so bants, because um, <laughs> you've, got, you've got the little uh, Satan boy there, uh, and so it's kind of a play on religion there, like holy, but it's unholy at the same time, but the bagels have a hole in them, but then they've <laughs> spelt it with a W, as in something is whole. Wow. So it's actually a triple entendre. Oh! <laughs> and points for that. I, I like their marketing. It's cool brand. Yeah. I'm going to give the veggie bagel from Holy Bagels with the everything bun and sun dried tomato cream cheese a 3.9 out of 5. Well, for my review. My pilgrim bagel with turkey, bacon, and cheese, you know, salsa. It's pretty juicy, but at the same time, it's kind of dry. I think it's just from the amount of meat in there. It's just, it's just meat. So I'm going to give it a, a 3.4. Mm. I'm going to give my bagel a 4.65 out of 5. The only thing I could complain about is I wish it had some lemon juice on it, but it's a bit more juicy and zesty. 
Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely going to go ahead and say Holy Bagels is an underrated location. I feel like it's been off the radar for many years now, and I'm glad I've come back to it. They're kind of slightly underground, I feel like. It's a chain. Yeah. And but it's not the busiest place, really. I mean, how, how many of you guys have been to Holy Bagels in the last year? Hmm. Not so many. Thanks for watching, everyone. This has just been a bagel review. Yeah. All pretty positive, except Callum wasn't maybe a little bit disappointed by his lack of cream cheese, I think mm. is the main point, takeaway there. Yeah. However, that was self-inflicted. I could have opted for something else. Yeah. yeah. Have a good day, everyone. Hope you eat a nice thing today. Whether you make it for yourself or you buy it somewhere if you're feeling uh, well off. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, peace out. Peace. Bye. Salut. <laughs>